And um, was there any other struggles while you were there or any other uh, difficult parts of that journey? Oh, there were, there were many difficult parts. I Hi. Mean, you know, ha having it's, to queue up um, for a bathroom at 4 a.m. with 200 people. I okay, hate queues, but I had to do right. it. These, you know, there, there are no privileges for anybody. Hello. Everyone is here. It's Chucky Pru here. Um, so this is normally what I do. I sit here. I cook some food. I'm making a shepherd's pie here for uh, Alexander for later on. And when I'm cooking, I watch good old London Rail. So I'm just going to turn it down a minute. Um, so here's the situation. Today I actually get to hang out with the London Rail guys. They've invited me to follow them on the Joe Rogan show, which they're going to be pairing today. Hold on, let me just steer this food. Um, so I'm excited. So this is a bit different. So I've gone from this kitchen, watching this show, to um, spending the day with them. So let's see how it all transpires. Okay, bye. They destroyed everything. When they, they attacked the libraries at Alamo, the most extensive libraries in, in the world at the time, they burned all the books. When the Christians went into Jerusalem, the first time, the first crusades, they burned all the books. And so much knowledge and wisdom was destroyed. Now, invariably, when there's attacks and there's wars, people do, you know, dis destroy what they call um, artifacts. They destroy lands. They destroy property. Lots of those things happen. Now, you know, if, if the U.S. is attacking Afghanistan and the Afghan guys going out and destroying Buddhist statues and temples and things like that, that's not a good thing. But it's an inevitability of war. So the, ma the major difference between our show is that ours is a, a packaged individual entity. Each show is, is very separate from um, the others. It's, um... Joe's is really natural. He just plugs in and flows. But we, we usually have a specific guest with a specific idea. It's only 60 minutes. We have specific questions we kind of want to ask him, and then the rest kind of flows from there. And ours is more compact. It's just an hour. Joe's is three. I like them both. And of course ours has two extremely good looking individuals at the helm. Too.
sit down here and watch the show on here. You can listen on the headphones and uh, film whatever the fuck you want. Cool, cool. Well, I'm gonna uh, grab a cup of coffee. Does anybody want one? We're good, we got some Red Bulls, so what's that? That's a pretty good sign. Uh, you guys are LondonReal.tv? I'm on Twitter, LondonReal.tv. Oh, Joe, I haven't been snowed for a long time. Nice! Yay! But like, it's, yeah, it's been a year, man. I like getting top one. Cool Monday, buddy. Here, what's that? Why would you? Don't oh, give him that! What are you doing? Oh, no, 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 no. Dude, are you trying to ruin oh, his time here? Oh, you oh, son of a bitch! Yeah. seen so many apocalyptic Mad Max type movies where the, for some reason, you know, I am legend type shit goes down. America's not even real. It's, it's just a bunch of humans and they, they decide to call it America and act as a group. But it's pretty obvious at this point that it's, that's not real. And what they're doing is completely contrary to what most of the people in this country would want to get done. So what we have is like a fake country and we have uh, a, a really a dictatorship that's run by money and it's just run with a loose grip no one's saying you can't do business what we're saying is business doesn't mean you have to fucking rob people business doesn't mean you have to use lobbyists to influence policy so that you can pollute rivers business doesn't mean that you can store nuclear waste in the middle of the fucking desert because you don't know how to get rid of it you're not supposed to do any of that stuff until you know how to get rid of it don't make it it's, you know, we, we should really probably shouldn't even be on fucking nuclear power because we've had several major incidents over the past 100 years. 100 years ain't shit. 
when it comes to how long the fucking Earth is and how long radioactive material lasts. So if you're having nuclear, if they've put together these power plants, that if something goes wrong, that spot is poison for 100,000 years. You cannot live there anymore. Yeah, but it's in our human nature to only change your behavior when something really bad happens. It's just the way yeah, it is, right? What's well, fascinating? It's a, it's just an aspect of denial. You know, it's and that's how corporations work. The reason why corporations are able to get away with the shit they do, bribe politicians and, 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 and influence literally war and murder is because they act as a group that's just trying to get zeros and ones. They're just trying to get money. I think the idea of a corporation is a good thing. I just think yeah. you need to regulate the fuck out of them. I have this, this theory that jiu-jitsu, um, I reckon you would know more about someone after a 10-minute jiu-jitsu match than a 10-minute conversation. Fuck 10 yeah. 10-hour conversation, yeah. man. Yeah. yeah. You see yeah. that character ten, Maybe through. 10 fucking years. Yeah. <laughs> he is the most zen person on the planet, or the one most zen person I know. And um, it goes hand-in-hand hand with good jiu-jitsu. Like, I notice the calmer I'm getting as a human being, maybe it's good through aging or meditation, the better my jiu-jitsu is, the more... I'm in touch with reality when I'm like sparring with someone and uh, I find that interesting. I do as well. I think jiu-jitsu is an excellent part of, of daily life for a man especially. <clears throat> and I think um, it's just one aspect, you know, of the others are nutrition, philosophy, thought, conversation, conversation with others. Um, a lot of our viewers I think are the same way. They're like these guys in their mid-twenties that think they're playing the game and they're like, okay, then where are all my rewards? And they're like, I'm not happy with this anymore. And I think I got there, I was doing this day-in, day-out job, and it was quote-unquote successful, and I had all the trappings, and then I was just like, I wasn't happy, so I just walked away from it, scared as hell, with, with nothing to do. Beautiful. That's yeah, a beautiful and, and story. Then for six months, I was like, literally not doing much, and Nick and I would meet in the West End, and walk around London for like three hours, and, and I was listening to your podcast, and I, we'd walk and we'd talk about philosophy, and women, and finance, and perspectives, and at the end, I'd be like, Nick, that would have made a fucking <laughs> yeah, if we had just yeah. recorded it you know and then Nick's like let's do it let's do it let's do it <laughs> your body knows what to do but your mind gets in the way yes We got gifts, by the way. I might as well drop these guys, these, these things on you guys. You have gifts for us? Yeah. Man. There you go. I know, huh? Hopefully you brought batteries. That's for you. Oh, man. And that's for you, Red Band. Oh, really? Brian, did you say that with a gay accent, you son of a bitch? That's some crazy ass London wheel. You have your wrapping own paper. wrapping paper? No, it's actually some posters. I didn't have any wrapping paper <laughs> at home. We gotta get on it, son. We gotta get wrapping paper. <laughs> but it looks kind of cool, right? Death Squad wrapping paper for <laughs> right? Christmas? Come on, dude. <laughs> yeah, you gotta put that up for the camera. Come on, that's Death cool, Squad right? wrapping paper? I'm <laughs> telling you. Yeah. Dude, you've got pride gloves for me. Dude, those were some originals. Were they uh, used? No, those, uh, I went to Pride, I think it was in 05 in Japan, and, wow. uh, and they've never been used, so. And then Redman's got the, the classic English shirt. I think pride gloves are actually That's better awesome. better than the gloves that the UFC uses in one way, is that the, the padding goes more over the end of the fingers, and it kind of keeps you curled. I feel like there are less eye pokes in pride. Do you feel that? So we uh, we just finished the Joe Rogan experience, three hours with Joe. Um, it was pretty crazy, Jesus. not what you'd expect. Um, it was it tough. Was, it was intense. Yeah, it was intense. Um, Nick took a few puffs and I thought you dealt with it pretty good. <laughs> Bros, I'm so sorry. There were a couple of points where I was like, oh, that must have gone down like a lead balloon. And then I was like, <laughs> I was on the edge, right? I've just been filming Brian and Nick from London Real and I have to say the show was awesome. I sat there, I watched the whole thing and I was just blown away by the conversation, the knowledge, what they were saying, it all seemed pretty seamless, they looked pretty confident, and 
and I got some of it down on tape so when I get home we'll edit it and hopefully if it's any good that's from my part not their part you really we'll get it, it up good. there anyways it's about the journey right it's about the journey all right peace <laughs> break them Like MJ, I can't believe today was a good day. 